Hello everybody and welcome to another photography talk and this time I'm going to talk about uh, how is this uh, moment in history for film photography. Before we begin, as usual, if you want to support the channel, please put a like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you want to go a step further, check out my website, you can find all my books there. You can find my zine, NIM 148, and the books are from a novel to technical books. And uh, the zine is, uh, I think, is pretty nice, it's a good way to uh, see imprinted my work and my photographies. Also, check out the sponsor, La Dolce Vita Workshops great workshops in Italy uh, where you can uh, not just learn photography but you can learn a different lifestyle that you can bring uh, back to your country when we end the workshops. Uh, very fun, beautiful places, out of the beaten path so you can find something that is uh, a little bit different from the usual Italian travels. They said we are in a historical moment that is absolutely great for film photography. And I say this for many reasons. First of all, uh, in the movie industries, there are a lot of movies. One of them was Oppenheimer, who won a lot of Oscars. And you can see here a video I did about the movie. But there are a lot of movies that are made again with film. And uh, not just that, but uh, there's also uh, the cinematographers and directors that are uh, trying to promote the idea of using film and this is a, a very good thing because it creates uh, an atmosphere where film is not just something that is uh, old and uh, not trained anymore and uh, uncomfortable to use and all these kind of things but uh, brings the idea of film as quality as something different from digital that we can use also as an artistic expression and uh, that is already a very good point because uh, uh, Oscar movies go to the masses, to everybody, so uh, to diffuse the idea of film with uh, the general population is a fantastic thing. But also if we look uh, at the actual uh, market for film photography, it's a great moment because a lot of companies are starting to come out with, uh, uh, again, cameras for film photography. And uh, I did a video about the Pentax and the new Pentax that is an alt frame that will come out uh, will come out uh, probably uh, in the summer of this year. And uh, there are other cameras. Rolle is coming out uh, with uh, Mint. Mint is a company that producing uh, cameras, and uh, they are designing a new Rolle 35IF. And uh, that is. Uh, a little bit uh, more advanced camera, uh, more high level camera compared to the one that Pentax is coming out. It's a full frame camera, it's a 35mm camera, 135 format, and uh, it will be with uh, all the manual control and everything else. It basically, it will be kind of a replica of the old Roll 35. Beautiful project will be another level, so the Pentax will be great as an introduction to film photography. And Pentax, by the way, already said that they are also studying other models, more advanced models in the future. But uh, uh, the Rolly will be a little bit higher level, and uh, it will be around 600 800 dollars, something like that. And a uh, great camera, so that's something that uh, is absolutely positive and we have also other cameras coming out uh, we can think about the uh, Yashica there's the MF2 by Yashica is another camera that is a uh, uh, full frame camera and I hate to use the term full frame for film is a 35 millimeter camera and uh, uh, also that one is uh, with some uh, a little bit uh, advancing control so it's a manual camera you can uh, set what you want on the camera it's pretty nice uh, and uh, there's a Yashica the other one that comes out is uh, Lomography uh, they came out with a camera that is with the small format 110 and that's another fun thing is uh, yes it's not uh, uh, a fantastic format for high quality but it's something that can be creative by the way uh, i like the fact that there's a, again film in that format so i can have uh, some play around with some cameras i have uh, uh, from uh, from the past and uh, so all these kind of things put together uh, shows that uh, in this moment 
companies are seeing film photography again as something that is profitable. And before uh, you criticize the fact that our uh, kind of compact cameras uh, and nothing uh, really professional, etc., I have to say that uh, if you look around, uh, if you want the top quality, we have uh, you look at the large format cameras, and there is another market where there is a a lot of new things. We have uh, uh, the usual uh, companies like uh, Campbell, Linoff, uh, Toyo still are producing cameras, view cameras uh, for large format photography, but we have Ghibellini that arrive on the market and is, they are doing a great job and fantastic cameras. There's Intrepid that is doing great things. Uh, Shenhao is a Chinese company that is building uh, very good um, photographic uh, cameras in uh, for large format. So. There's a, a lot going on and this means that uh, the market is uh, uh, ready to grow. It's something that is, uh, we reached uh, a number with film photography uh, that inspired companies also to produce film. And uh, Fujifilm announced that they were uh, stopping the production of film because there was uh, there were problems getting some of the ingredients. Now they start again. In Japan, there's a Superior uh, 100 and 400, I don't know exactly the name. It's uh, just on the Japanese market. There's someone importing in the USA, but uh, Fujifilms pro started to produce in Japan films again. Uh, Kodak is doing good and is uh, basically reselling also to a lot of other companies. Uh, we have uh, Ilford, they try to they have the usual beautiful uh, black and white uh, films but they uh, tested with the Kentimer they tried uh, a color film and they are ready to start to produce uh, a color film and that's another good thing. Uh, Foma is doing a lot of very good things that is at least in the USA if I'm not wrong but uh, Foma is doing great uh, with film with black and white. So there's a market that is uh, going on. Ferragna is another one that started to produce film. So there's a, a lot going on in the market in this direction. Yes, the prices are going up, but uh, some Codex products just lower the price again. So uh, that's something that uh, the prices are going up. But uh, yeah, I, I compare the prices of the film uh, um, from years ago and I compare them with the prices of the gasoline and sorry to tell you but uh, everything is became more and more expensive film is not just uh, the only thing sadly if you compare in USA for example I have friends from USA that tell me that uh, the price of eggs became crazy so uh, film uh, the price of film increased much less than the price of eggs. So we are in a moment where there's a, a lot of inflation and everything else. So yes, film is part of that. And it is expensive, but all life is becoming expensive. And film, if uh, we go on a more uh, stable production, it will lower the prices. And already uh, some prices are going a little down. So that's fantastic. And to see all these uh, uh, new things about film photography and new films, uh, uh, a lot of the films we see around are just uh, rebranded by other film or are uh, cinematography stock film that are just respooled for uh, for photography and all these kind of things. But uh, that means there's an interest around, and uh, that is fantastic because we are at the level. Uh, as we were for the vinyl with music, so the analog music uh, at certain point seemed to disappeared, and uh, it's back again. And you can find uh, new music that comes out on vinyl. You can find uh, turntables that are from every price, so you can go from the very cheap things uh, that you can get. Uh, you know, it's uh, the usual uh, online shops for probably 20, 30 bucks and have a turntable with low quality, but still uh, something that is a turntable. Two thousand, thousand dollars for um, the very, very uh, specialized turntables. And it is the same with photography. And if we reach uh, a level 
of uh, request that is enough we will start to see also producer making reflex camera and making medium format and so on medium format i think is the most difficult sector because is uh, uh, kind of very expensive to produce uh, and the market is not so wide uh, as for the 35 millimeter and is not uh, a niche uh, so uh, where people spend a ton of money as large form of photography so that is something that probably we will be we will see medium format as the last uh, evolution to come out but these are really great times for film photography we will see in the future how the things goes but uh, if you look around and if you look at the prices in the used market if you look at how many people is rebuilding their darkroom or creating a new darkroom if they never used film before uh, that's something that uh, will make you optimist about the future of film and here another thing is uh, uh, Everybody is kind of complaining that uh, the new cameras are something kind of uh, cheap uh, to attract a new generation, these kind of things. There's nothing as, a, there's nobody that decided to, okay, I produce again a Pentax LX, for example. Yes, Pentax is the classical example. They are coming out with an alpha frame format, but uh, that's a good way to introduce people to photography. My first camera was a, uh, Absolutely, the first camera I used was a Kodak Instamatic, a plastic camera with a square format. And yes, that's uh, something that uh, really, uh, f with the camera, I got the bug of photography. So it's nice that uh, we can have something that is cheap on the market, uh, uh, easy to use, and will attract new people. Nothing to add here, just a great moment, in my opinion, for film photography. And I'm very curious to see what the future will bring to us in this sector. Let me know what you think and uh, thank you for watching. See you next time.